All right, so today's video is gonna be about Arby's. Yes, Arby's the restaurant. I never really been to Arby's, but I did hear a lot about it. Yo, Arby's is so good. Hey man, Arby's is disgusting. Um, what is an Arby? I've heard all these things, but I never really got to experience it for myself. So, as of this week, I finally got to try Arby's, and I'm all pretty excited. Now, I remember the day like it was yesterday. So I was just walking down the street like I always do, and I got a text from my sister. So all these different fast food places ran through my mind, and I just couldn't quite think of one. And then it hit me. Paulina, guess what? What? Wait, what are you, what are you watching? Nothing, what's up? All right, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna eat at Arby's. Um, sure. And then that was it. Me and Pauline were off to go experience what Arby's was truly about. So the table's set, the food is here, the siblings are here. We're gonna try Arby's out. Truly find out if they have the beef, you know? <laughs> Dig in, everybody. I feel like they're known for their french fries. There's a lot of mayonnaise in there. Yeah, it looked like it, look like it was dripping before, and I was like, mm. I want to try to do the sandwich. This is the buffalo one. Buffalo's there. They give me a lot of meat. And the Reuben sandwiches? Maybe they do have the beef. But the Reuben sandwich is fire. Because at Subway, they call it this. These are the Supreme sandwiches that you can get. So they're a little pricey, but if you want a personal sandwich, I'd say you should be, definitely go to, you go to Arby's. They just put so much on it. Right? Uh, it's hot. They have a double too, and a triple one. Mm, this is a lot. Like, I don't know if you can see this meat. It's a lot. Mm -hmm. This is really impressive. I wasn't a fan of the buffalo chicken sandwich. I saw, I noticed that you put it back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, just one bite. It's life too short to finish burgers, you don't like. Yeah. Okay, this is not bad. No, not at all. Um, the roast beef one with the, just the cheese on it. Mm -hmm. It's not bad at all. Fine. Did you try the poppers? Jalapeno poppers? Mm -hmm. This served lunch when you went to Rose. Okay, so for the poppers. This is the same at um, Papa John's. I'm not a fan of when people do popper, jalapeno poppers. I use cream cheese instead of like cheddar cheese. It just seems- What is there cream cheese in there? That's what Papa, some pizza places be doing too. While it's not bad, like it tastes fine, they will lose points simply because I was disappointed. Should I have looked at the menu beforehand? Maybe. But I'm not gonna make myself the big. I'm not gonna make myself the villain. Mm -hmm. They should have let me know. Yeah, don't own their mistake. It's all them. I have to say, um, Jack in the Box curly fries are better than these. Ooh. So, yeah, these are very stale. So many of them aren't curly anymore. Yeah. So you're saying their curly fries aren't curly? No. Let's try this macaroni and cheese. It's like white cheddar. Yeah, I was surprised they even had macaroni and cheese in the first place. So we're gonna try to compete with Chick-fil-A. Used by Thursday? Each I day. Did. They're not reusing these, are they? What why does it have an expiration? It has an expiration date. On the, on the bottom, bottom, it says used by Thursday. <clears throat> and it says Joe Microwave. Then I mean, granted though it is Wednesday, so you 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 know, it's not expired. But it is weird how they must make it like three days advance or something. Oh no. Not at all. 
Don't get on my shoulder. Yeah. I don't think I want to swallow that. <laughs> okay, like, not at all. It's not the worst thing ever. Like I wouldn't get it again, ever. But Chick-fil-A definitely beats their macaroni. It's a lot of cheese. I beat their macaroni. My vegan macaroni and cheese beats that. I don't think I want to try it. No. <laughs> Arby's, don't don't be discouraged by what we said so far. Um, I'm, I still have to try the Reuben sandwich. That might save the day. It will. The Reuben sandwich, I have no complaints. It shouldn't be this... Like, well, because they meal prepped it and made it like probably four days ago. It's yeah, good, right? The Reuben's not bad. I, I would eat this. Yes, I totally would do. All right, I think we're basically done. I enjoyed the food. The sides, as far as the french fries goes. For curly fries, they just weren't curly enough for us. Um, the macaroni and cheese. It was too cheesy. Too, surprisingly, was too cheesy. And if you're gonna make macaroni, maybe don't use the American slices for the cheese base. Ugh. It might work for some people. They just did not work today for Arby's macaroni and cheese. I'm sorry. Um, the jalapeno poppers, keep it up. Just maybe think about substituting the cream cheese for um, cheddar cheese. Now their original, their original like roast beef sandwich, I gotta say, they did a good job. The meat tastes good. Um, cheese is on there, tastes all right. Yeah, two thumbs up on the roast beef sandwich. And then also the Reuben. Reuben also was really good. I don't know what mm. they put in there, but Basically, send my, send my regards to Ruben because he really made that. I know. <laughs> All right, and that was it. Uh, we tried Arby's. The sandwiches were really good. The sides, honestly, they weren't. They were not it. Um, Arby's, please fix your macaroni and cheese. I want the best for you, and that's just not it. Although we weren't that impressed with it, it was still a great experience, so I'm glad I did it. Thank you for watching, come again.